anything that might actually cause any discomfort, but it does not matter. Citron getting a little bit of the picks up pickups and full combo, and that's going to be a solid amount of damage, going to get a little bit extra damage. And Nova looking in a tight position right here, but does have everything accessible from Blood Sword to Raging Fury. Oh, so close, but blinded. And it's not going to matter because it's going to still get this full combo. And Citron going to have to hold this, even though, she, even though Lightbringer has a ton of HP, not going to be enough to save her from that scary situation but he's gonna get a confirm and still has access to confession faithful and gonna have even divine shield up everything is up could kill in this one combo oh unfortunate gonna use estrangement and pop the level 45 consolation but not gonna get anything gets the confession gonna get the full follow-up and that could be the first round going straight to citron playing for those strong points Nova fighting back, but unfortunately going to have to hold this full combo as he stays blinded into the first round going to Citron. Got to say that's uh it, it's never it's never fun when you when you drop a combo, make a little bit of a mistake. It does hurt, but guess what? That's why there are three rounds, so much more room, so much more time to make adjustments. And Nova definitely has to look for any type of room to adjust for Thunder Rhyme. Thunder Rhyme is going to be the map for him to move around a little bit more, but it does give Citron a lot more room to move too. So going to have to wait for possibly Blood Sword or Raging Fury to make a move. Oh, wow. Nice grab. Already getting the Bloodlust. Going to get a full decent combo. Not going to probably spend anything here once he gets a CD. Just to kind of keep it simple. It's already a quarter of life. Citron using up the Confession. Still has Forgiveness, but not probably going to use it freely because he can get grabbed by Bloodlust. And oh, gets grabbed for trying to Shield Break. And right there, massive damage. And you can see how Nova's already turning it around. Ouch. That's all I can say. Oh, we don't have game sound. Sorry, guys. And the movement from Citron, just trying to look for any opportunity to open him up. Not really going to be easy. Has all the tools. Gets bloodlusted again. And this is probably going to be death. Uh... Definitely into Outrage Break. Yeah, into another Bloodlust, into a launcher. Dead. And just like that, Nova turns it around. Whew. Talk about quick, quick, quick. Do keep in mind, guys, all matches will be streamed on stream. So just be prepared for that, guys. Uh, don't worry about uh, reporting anything. We're just going to be playing all the matches on stream. And like that, it is 1-1. Nova turning it around, taking it to the tower. It's going to be a little bit more tough for Nova to probably engage. Going to be a lot tighter space. And right there, Citron already getting started. Massive damage. Going to go through. Going to probably get the... No, opting not to actually go for anything else. Going to actually leave. Going to shield block here with, with Divine Shield just to mitigate some of the damage. Gets Confession. No launcher, no go for Nova Pulsar there. And spin, spin, spin. Gonna get the... Oh, the blind. Such a good thing in, to have as a tool for Citron here. Makes it so much harder for Nova to actually approach. Gonna use Thirst. Gonna pop the range. Gets the... Warp grab into the Raging Fury. Probably going to... Oh, go straight to Outrage Braid. Just wants to do massive damage. The Blood Sword. So much damage on the board here. And all I can say is, ouch, that had to hurt. And just like that, Citron looking to close out another round. Whew. These close... These, these very tight maps are really, really good for Lightbringer. You can't really run away from her confession. She's going to have... Um, forgiveness. She has a estrangement. A lot of these moves that have armor, they're going to be able to pop you if you decide not to try to warp grab or just go for a good grab or you're just in the wrong space at the wrong time.
So, now we're going to take it to Bamboo. Pretty good option, if I say so myself. Okay, so Nova going buffed up, just trying to be a little aggressive, not too aggressive. And Citron has so many opportunities here, but unfortunately going to get bloodlusted by the warp grab. And it's, it's going to be very low damage just because Nova's not using anything. Did miss that extra warp grab to push him out of the corner. Confession too strong. Guards mean nothing to him. Eating him up. Okay, and Citron actually opting to just chill a a little bit after that mistake oh gets runs right into the grab and gonna get completely scraped and scooped off the ground into a blood sword into a bloodlust and gets out real fast using everything estrangement gets the stab to the re relaunch into the dash dash x and this is a full combo it's gonna hurt and still has consolation gonna probably opt to use it here Oh, he is trying to keep him at bay. Tries to use Confession. Try not to get bloodlisted. Uses Forgiveness. Not going to commit. So has Faithful a, a, a supporting uh, buff here. Not going to use it, though. Probably looking to Estrangement. It gets an opportunity. Gets Warp Grab, though. And that could be Dev. No, no Raging Furry. Raging Furry still get, doesn't matter. He misses the... He drops it. Oh, the trade. And this is look like it's going in Citron's favor as long as he doesn't drop this combo. Oh, yeah. Just like that. The miss so critical for Nova. And it just it, it decided the factor of the match for him. Like that, Citron is going to move forward uh, into that winner semi side. Definitely sitting a little bit more comfortable. Uh, and we're going to be having up next. We're going to be having Pyro. Uh, Pyrokinesis versus Jumpy Doll. And keep in mind, this is a very Canada-heavy tournament. Um, I do know a lot of players are going to be flying out in two days. Uh, so I, I don't think they're really too hell-bent on being in this one. But they can lose their spots so easily so easily they're gonna have to be careful uh because they might have to when they get back end up playing in the last tournament to not get knocked out of the top eight and i just want to say thank you guys for following appreciate it very much um i know we're on a new platform today but i don't want you to think that we're not still you know doing a lot of cool things we're here all right we're here oh jumpy doll using the the the, the estranged man um okay so these guys are gonna load okay so while these guys are loading, I'm going to show you guys <laughs> our schedule for the up and coming tournaments. If you have not seen. Yeah, it's double points. I did state it. You guys got to look at the event page inside Discord. That's where it all is. Keeping that in mind. Um, but for the tournaments, these next two tournaments are going to lead up to December 17th. So you got this one currently no uh, November 10th, which is Nightfall 8, uh, double the points. And then you have November 9th, uh, I mean, sorry, November 25th, which is going to be on a Saturday. Uh, so more people will probably have time to sign up. And keep in mind, that one's also going to have, remember, these do not have, these last two tournaments do not have any cash prize pot. Uh, this is going to go towards more of the double points. And the double points, keep in mind, will play a big factor into you getting into the December 17th, uh, you know, Nightfall Season 1 Championships, where we will have medals, we will have a trophy, we will have all those exciting things. I Trust me, you guys don't want to miss it. It's going to be very, very dope. Um, of course, we'll have a seasonal break. Uh, seasonal break, to my knowledge right now, uh, the way I've planned it, will be from... Uh, after after the event, it'll be possibly in a two two month 
or three month break, uh, treat it like that is your time to go rest, go do things, and then we will have a season two announcement, which will bring some new things, possibly some uh, so a few old things, but some new things to uh to the table to make it a little bit more exciting for you guys. Um, but with that being said, it seems like both players are geared and ready to go. They are able, they are just they can start whenever they're ready. And right off the bat, Jumpy Doll, known for going ham and getting in there. I'm pretty sure Captain Tang would love to see this right now. But it does not matter because it will still be on the VOD as Jumpy Doll come making a comeback. And Pyrokinesis being his first tournament uh, is Zam's brother. So we're going to see what he can bring to the table. Fighting another Canadian, you know, home. This is like hometown right now. This is a home game for all the Canadian players. They're all here. Showing up in a mar uh, strong margin. Uh, but, you know, Pyrokinesis is not giving up here. Showing that he can still hold his own against some of the best. Getting blinded, uh, Jumpy Doll is. And playing the Soul Bender, very, very, uh, very, very unique. Uh, tough to play against for some characters. Really hard to approach. Saya is is available. No, going to get stunned. It gets netted. Going to get poisoned. All in just like that. Jumpy Doll is in. Making the damage count where it matters. Gonna get the oh, does it get the stun? Gets the rebound though. Nice pickup. Gonna try to set up here. Pyrokinesis is looking for any opportunity. Gonna wow, popping everything uh, to help him get started. Unfortunately, gets neck snapped. And Call of the Dark is up and available, but not probably gonna get an opportunity to use it here. Gonna actually get blinded for a second. Dodges the net gonna use after image of kega but not gonna oh it's actually gonna help here and this is so big could kill calls for call of dark and oh like that jumpy doll losing the first round wouldn't have expected it hyrokinesis is trying to step into the ring let's go saying i want a spot in the season one championship can i do that Yes, you can. Very, very nicely done there. Gonna go to Th Mount Thunder Rhyme on this second game here. So, Jumpy Doll taking a second here to reevaluate, possibly. Um, I definitely think uh, if if he wants to turn this around, if uh, if he wants to turn this around on Pyro, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to uh, avoid letting letting uh, Pyro use after image. Uh, sorry, yeah, he's gonna have to avoid him using after image. Maybe stall long enough. I do not miss being on Twitch. I'll be honest with you guys. Eh, oh well. Uh, and like that, Jumpy Doll trying to get some start. Gets the next snap into a brick, brick stun, but not going to be enough. And like that, already using the Tatsu to get out of a bad situation. Going to net him, keep him in the same spot. And summons are coming out, but not going to be enough for Pyro. Pyro getting relaunched, and the misses are saving him from so much extra damage. But Jumpy Doll making great adjustments to make something happen. Keep in mind, man, I got to be honest. Pyro, Pyro coming out of the woodworks said he wanted to play in a tournament and look at how well he's doing already. Gets Dark Call of Dark, Call of Dark, and is making waste of Jumpy Doll right now, keeping him blinded. Not going to get anything off of that. Gets the warp grab. Oh, it's looking so scary. Gonna try neck snap. Neck and neck and neck snap will turn the game around. Nice combo. Drops it. 
but gets the needle spin. Gonna get a full combo. No, doesn't get the next snap to follow up. Blocks, and unfortunately for Pyro, this is such a bad situation. No longer has the guard ready available, and is gonna have to eat all of the damage. <laughs> and like that, Jumpy Doll adjustments have been made. It is turned around, uh, and made it super, super convincing that he was aware of what to do there. And going straight into it, we were at tower. Jumpy Dom wasting no time, saying let's get to it with his mega fist gloves, but Pyro looking to get something going here. Definitely waiting for Ice Asai to come up. Probably going to try to use that in a combo here. Okay, there's the Isasaya. That's the main important one. Tries to gonna try to get the free freeze. Gonna try to keep <laughs> Jumpy Doll in it. Jumpy Doll says no, I want nothing to do with it. Gets the brick in full combo. And now activations are going off and everything is being thrown against the wall. Oh, the stun on Tombstone does not matter. Whoa, the trade. And Jumpy Doll still coming out in favor of that. Okay, get some XX strings in here. Gonna set up the net, make him guess, gets the speed buff, stun, but Saya coming through heavy, unfortunately does not matter, because Jumpy Doll still making waste of the situation. Saya just has saved Pyro so many times, and Pyro looking for anything, just something, saying, I, I just wanna get started. I, if I touch you, maybe, and there is the touch, not gonna do as much damage, and Jumpy Doll instantly rebounding. Definitely something to look look at uh, when when players are getting caught by these situations. And Saya, not gonna sell. Oh, Saya saving again into Bloodless, and that could be the end of Jumpy Doll here. Oh, the back step into Call of Dark. Very nice by Pyro, showing off a little bit of uh, his technicalities there. The, the the level of see here's the thing everybody always talks about like oh well you know we don't have strong players we have strong players you just have to look in the right places and guess what they're right here there's some that aren't even entering that if they enter they will show off their ability to play and right now all i could say is jumpy doll wasting no time wants to get started with everything he has in the book probably going to be a lot more aggressive like you've seen we've seen him turn it up it's going to be really important for Pyro here to make sure he holds his ground. And Odessa is a really hard hard map for him to dodge a lot of Jumpy Doll's moves. You know, Brawler has a lot of ton has tons and tons of throwables, which are going to make it so much more difficult to get around. But great job by Pyro just not letting a lot of them get to him, not getting frustrated. Seems like he's taking his time. Oh, he gets stunned. He gets next step, and that's going to be a big combo for Jumpy Doll. Going to push him towards the wall here. Uh, definitely going to want to do a setup. No, unfortunately, both players grabbing each other, throwing each other out of the situation. Saya saving Pyro again twice in a row. Gonna get a full combo. No, no follow up. Does have accessibility to Call of the Dark and Plague. Plague does come out. And Plague's gonna be really, really scary for Jumpy Doll to sit in just because of the blind, but not committing to anything. He's just honestly in and out, in and out. Both players just filling out the situation, knowing that either, yep, Pyro could die in this situation. Or Jumpy Doll could get it caught like that, get pushed into Saya, could get a freeze here, which would be really big for a reset. Call of the Dark getting lots of damage, but Saya is gonna, Isaiah is gonna go down. Gonna have available Plague Rasa coming up soon, but Tombstone is also gonna be something he's gonna need in these these situations to get around armor. And gonna try to go for the guard, gets hit by the needle spin, and that's gonna be it to close the round. Taking the Odessa streets by storm. Jumpy Doll. 2-2 two, two, tying it up. Going to take it to Bamboo to finish off this game. Like I said, if you're, fir you're first-timer here, 
Welcome, guys. This is Dungeon Fighter Online. This is the Nightfall tournament series that we always run. Uh, we are officially on Twitch today. And uh, all I can say is we're opening it up. All right. We're opening it up to everybody. I mean, I know a lot of people want to see Pyro do it. Trump Jumpy Doll. But I know people want to see Jumpy Doll kind of make it his way back up there, as always. Is already in top eight. So Pyro needs this right now to stay in con to stay in a good position. Oh, the the ground slam! It's so much right now. It's solid damage, but only a quarter of life. And it's really important for Pyro right now to kind of not get flustered, and the nin shot dropping there. So much damage already off of two combos. Pyro not really getting anything started. Probably should wait for after image of Kega to come up. But gets netted and neck snapped and thrown outside of Plague. Now it's going to be so detrimental to the playstyle that he needs right now. Stalling to throw him back into the to the wall. And Jumping Doll just getting the free stun into the net. Probably going to neck snap to keep it going. Needle Spin going to miss though. All of the grabs being thrown out. And officially gets one. But going to bleed out slash poison out. And like that Pyro. Not getting the opportunity to play the game might be a pseudo perfect. Jumpy Dog gonna advance forward. Uh, so next up, we are gonna have Thirst Killer versus Citron, which, uh, I don't think we have we seen this. I gotta actually look at the log, but I don't think this is a match that's happened yet. Um, it may have, may not have, but I don't know. We have a lot of tournaments that happen, so don't think both players have played in tournament against each other yet. Oh, uh, I gotta look for his new name, Reformed. Reform mud. So, <laughs> these guys. So, no need to load. Uh, hold on. This is winners. Semi. Um, make sure you guys can read. So, yeah, they they get started. It's time. Of course, I would just not put the match up like an idiot. <laughs> why I want I wonder why this guy looks familiar. Uh but you know, Thirst Killer being the reform man that he is, changed his name, trying to get something started here, of course, using Grace, the holy light of divinity. God's hand and getting a full combo here. But doesn't mean that Citron can't turn this around, can take a hit. Definitely think this is not that bad of a favor of a matchup. Gets the combo. No, no, it drops. And Estrangement comes out to follow up. Unfortunately, going to get around the Holy Circlet. And <laughs> Thirst Killer running to stay away till Light of Divinity possibly comes up. Uh, has accessibility to Grand Cra Crashing. Uses Grand Crashing. Does not matter because guess who's in there? Citron. Yep, Citron doing massive damage. Oh, does the dirt says dirt kick and unfortunately all gonna use the forgiveness And Citron turning it around so fast, but light of divinity is gonna come up. He's not gonna probably be able to use Oh, he uses confession and right now Thirst Killer is blinded gonna try to weak his way out with shining cross and you don't really get to see this very often against a a female crusader where somebody can just kind of take a little bit more advantage of uh super armor and this is one of the characters i feel like that can and gets caught unfortunately great great catch for thirst killer not gonna be able to quite end it but can set up and right there consolation gone but but confession turning it around can still kill gets his xx combo gonna try to close it out and like that citron closes it out for the first game. Thirst Killer really gonna have to bring some strength to the table and maybe the maybe we're seeing 
can rely a little too much on Light of Divinity and trying to make it run forward. Oh, look at that. He's already making the switch. What will we see? I don't know. But all I can tell you is whatever he has planned, it is definitely going to be something interesting. Um... So I, I'm just curious. Oh, he's bringing it out. Oh, he is doing it. He is bringing out the sword master. He is going to, to, to tears of tears. He said, if this tear doesn't do it, I'm going to throw this at you. Oh, Lord. The character that just just some makes people submit because of the damage, because of the easy, easy play style. Going to buff up and... He tries to use Crescent. Crescent hits. And even though he's blinded, doesn't matter. Going to use Forgiveness. No confession on the board for Citron. Citron kind of struggling a little bit here. Wonder if he would be willing to switch to his mage. But no, definitely a character he's been running it through, which is Lightbringer. Strong, still can take a lot of hits. And Thirst Killer really, really working hard here to make sure that Citron does not get to play the game. Still having Swift Demon, uses Swift Demon, probably gonna try to opt out, uses the the counter counter uh flip side. And just playing the neutral so well, staying away, could just throw it out there. Hopefully something hits. Uh gonna have access to Illusion Sword coming up. And keep in mind, his quick rebound is coming off cooldown, so if he does get hit by anything he'll be able to do something and right there gets caught such big normals thirst killer gonna clutch it out real quick turn it around it's very interesting uh change didn't want to lose kind of got caught uh slipping in for citron to have to deal with his sword master now. Now I wonder if Citron does the change going into tower. Tower's a lot smaller. It might be a little bit more in favor of it might be a little bit more in favor for for him playing into this map. Oh I wonder if tower is the 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 move that if he does win, um he can counter pick later on if he needs to. But of course it's sword master Swordmaster still has the ability to fight on these maps. Does not matter. Going to already get a nice little launcher there. Illusion Sword going to come up. Going to use Illusion Sword to add that extra little bit of damage. And tries to go for the Crescent there. And doesn't get it, but gets other things. And has the accessibility to Spinning Blade and also Flash. And Illusion Sword just came back up. Probably, oh, he's just opting. He just used Illusion Sword. Probably going to throw out... Oh. Flash into Arcane Sword. Nothing's going to hit. And Citron's looking for any opportunity to just slip his way in. Maybe hit a little bit of a confession. We're up. Yeah, didn't want to get didn't want to get hit by anything there. Nice trade. Going to get the pickup. Citron getting the solid full combo. Probably going to save Consolation here for the next combo option. Oh, into confession. Doesn't get the pickup. Tries to hit the Consolation doing so much damage. Trying to hit with the Estrangement. Just try not to let him get away with murder. Because he's just stealing this round. Oh, into the shield. Shield break. Gonna probably not quick rebound here. Tries a confession just in case. And Citron does have accessibility to quick rebound. Probably not gonna get to use it. Gonna kick, kick it up a little bit with the will. Fly opposite way uses a strange to bait does have confession still available gets the oh wow it worked out so well in citron's favor there citron clutching it through i don't i don't like i said i don't think we've seen these players go head to head and citron's been very much getting back into shape and been playing a lot of this character. Um, um it, it's 
it's very interesting because this is not a character we don't see Lightbringer uh, play competitively uh, very often, right? So, not over here in North America. So, in global, it's very interesting to see that um, we're, we're seeing Citron pull out all the stops, play this character, one of my favorite characters to watch uh, play, because I like playing her, but my god, when I tell you Thor's Killer has his number cut out for him, definitely going to be looking to play the field here. Oh, the combo from Thirst Killer has Flash accessible. Going to get the freeze. Not going to do much. Going to force out the forgiveness. And gets the follow-up. Has Crescent. Probably going to pop Crescent into an Arcane Sword combo. Or keep it simple. Not opt to do any damage. Trying to save for Illusional Sword, of course. And then probably going to set up for a Crescent into an Arcane Sword here. Nope. Uses Swift Demon. Arcane Sword to follow up to keep the armor going. Going to get the launcher. Yeah, keeping his combo simple here. There's Killer trying to opt to save as much options. And right there, Citron trying to chase it down, knowing that he's not optimizing damage and spending anything. But Crescent kind of clutching out for him that situation, which is going to take us to Odessa. It's going to make it a lot more interesting. None of these matches are getting 3 0'd or 3 1'd. Everybody's taking it down to the wire. It goes. It goes to Odessa now that uh, you guys are no longer on Final Pursuit. <laughs> we're going to the trash cans. We're kicking some trash around. And guys, uh, if you haven't, we're back on Twitch. Welcome back and welcome new play people. The lovely, lovely sight of per of purple. And like that, Citron getting started way easier for uh it's gonna be way easier for lightbringer to catch characters out because it's such a, a long but thinner map gonna get the blind gets the confession gonna extra extra damage what happened to your life and like that there's killer has so much work cut out for him arcane sword coming up gonna be accessible but not gonna get an opportunity here gonna have to actually eat all of this damage going through and this could close out probably gonna use confession to follow up doesn't even need it okay well like that citron playing for the points and getting so far Wow, we, wow, we, and like that. Oh, he called them pathetic. That's not okay. <laughs> oh my god, these players. I, I gotta tell you, you know, the personality that comes from these guys. It, it's it's fun. You know, it's all fun in games till it's time to play. Um, <laughs> three two or over thirst killer. You know, look, just because you're at the top doesn't mean other people can't move up. You know, other people can move up. Damn, you really call them pathetic. I never thought. I never thought that'd be something that needed to be said. That's crazy. Uh, but we're going to be having Jumpy Doll versus Zam coming up here, guys. Uh, if you guys don't know uh, Zam, your local Vanguard. Uh, from These are more Canada players, Canadian players. They're coming out swinging, I tell you. It's going to be a... It's just, uh, yo, this is going to be so fun. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, Zam being your resident, um, Vanguard, but of course, Jumpy Doll. Yeah, not needing a load. You're both from Canada. Let's get started. You know, we don't need no loads for Canada. You loading for. Alright, so both players are ready. And it's nightfall time. <laughs> what, what, what? What? Wait, are you doing loads? What? What the hell is this? Oh no, he's not loading. Okay, he lied. He lied to him. He faked them out. What are you? What are you sitting down for? Get up. You thought I wasn't playing the game? I'm playing the game. Oh, the backdash. 
I can't, I can't tell. I can't tell if they're loading or if they're actually fighting. But if they are, Zam's just on a whole nother level. He is, he is playing the mind games. He is faking me out at this point. Nah, th this gotta be a load. This gotta be a load. Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. This is a load. You guys, you son of a gun, this is a load. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. These loaders. These loaders. I can't believe they fooled me like that. I, I thought I thought you guys weren't loading. So sorry about that, guys. That was a load. Don't trust them. Don't trust these 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 Canadians with their fake loads. Their so-called we're gonna play the match, quote unquote, mind game the, the commentator. All right, we're finally ready to get started. You guys need another load? No transition for you. See, that's what you get now. But uh, Jumpy Doll versus Zam. Zam, um, funny enough, Jumpy Doll actually had to play Zam's brother earlier, uh, Pyrokinesis. And this is very interesting because uh, Zam, they, you know, Pyrokinesis had a lot of accessibility to someone who's really, really strong to learn from and Zam no slouch himself can output damage instantly in this matchup um, but jumpy doll no slouch all these players have played each other multiple times uh, from the same area so you can see right now jumpy doll playing the spacing game unfortunately not gonna be able to do too much against Vanguard once he doesn't have any of his throwables ready and available uh, Inferno charge is coming up so if he catches him on the wrong axes like that it is going to be lights out massive damage you're probably gonna lose half your life here Please, no, not like this. Let me get up. And he lets him get up and tries to catch him with Devastate. And Infernal Charge just kind of not really getting much mileage for Zam here, except for that one time. Tries to jump X. Oh, my God. Needle snap. Neck snap. Needle spin into the net. Going to keep him in space. Says, hey, do you want an armor move yet? Prep to stun him. Gets the poison. Gets the needles. And it's just... It's so hard for Zam to make his way in. But those doppelganger is going to stop him. Going to get the stun. And Jumpy Doll still getting the pickup into the net. And he's going to burn to death, if not poison. Just like that first game going to Jumpy Doll. And here we go, jumping back into it. Jumpy Doll looking like the favorable one right now. But Zam, no slouch, does have really good adjustment, really good at adaptation. Going to see how he gets around these doppelgangers, the throwables. Gets the jump X in the, the pickup. It catches the quick rebound with the grab and says, you know what? You're not going anywhere. This is where you belong. Stay in this corner. But Jumpy Doll disrespectfully getting out. Gonna get the Venom Mine into the throwables. Give these solid damage into the finishing off of all the status effects. Very smart. Oh, unfortunately, Dreadboard not gonna be enough, but Infernal Charge gonna turn it around. Gets the full standing combo. Super big. And that's gonna be a lot of damage going through because guess what? He is gonna get Devastate back up. Probably not gonna need it, but probably gonna use it on the back end to set up. And Zam just holding, holding down back in a sense waiting for an option to happen doesn't get a chance to use any armor gonna get needle spin into tatsu full combo oh yeah that it's one of those weird spots where jumping doll's not gonna be able to use those items effectively because he's in the corner but it does not matter full combo by zam gonna get the kill here to clutch it out and just like that vanguard can just turn it around so fast and zam zam does a great job with finding those little gaps to just get the little bit of damage to start something and it turns into big damage. And slowly but surely you're you're just finding yourself losing life bit by bit.
but we're gonna go to tower and honestly it's kind of like a toss-up uh i definitely think it's a little bit more in vanguard's favor to be able to get in but to keep out i feel like jumpy doll has the spacing uh with doppelgangers and needles and uh just being able to enhance uh brick throw but one infernal charge can turn the whole game around that's all it takes uh using endure is going to probably be really helpful for zam here as well uh and probably not gonna be able to get to use dread Bore because very linear on this map and there's a little bit more wider space and like that jumpy doll already getting his first combo to start the game like to see what zam's gonna do here to turn it around fortunately doesn't seem like he's getting a chance to play the game not gonna quick rebound very smart gets caught up in it all by the blade storm into the dreadboard no unfortunately the map didn't allow him to infernal charge a little too far down there hits the, the altar and like that an altercation has happened needle spin needle spin into the stun and full pickup and zam not getting an opportunity tried to infernal charge in unfortunately not enough life to get something started Jumping Doll going to go up 2-1 in this matchup. Yep. Got to give it to Jumping Doll. Readjusting himself very fast for those situations. Uh, Zam already going to Odessa. Way better map for him. Going to be able to stop Jumping Doll from running around. Trying to get rid of the trash cans early so that he can turn no charges way in. Fortunately, going to get stuck in his tracks. But looking for this JX has been really effective for him. Uh, anytime Jumpy Doll tries to throw out in a, a projectile, but it doesn't matter. Catches him off the axis, the Z axes with some XXs and finally getting something started. Gonna buff up here. And this is gonna be super important. Blade Storm coming up. Inferno Charge just to carry. And oh, Blade Storm just gonna let it rock. Gets neck snapped and Jumpy Doll with like 25% life left. Gonna have to turn it around using all the throwables. Venomite into net. Probably gonna set up into. Oh, nice. Good backdash to, to not let the full combo happen. Jumpy Doll would have had to uh, adjust to the backdash. But since it's so awkward and he did it, did it backwards, he was expecting to possibly get out of that. An Inferno Charge available here. Gonna use Air Raid. Aerial Raid available. Nice backdash. Did not worry about the stun. Jumpy Doll not going to be able to get combos off this. Has to keep throwing so they can get something started. Gets the needle but doesn't follow up. A little too afraid of the, the armor that could go through. And there, Zam trying to go in. And no, the net's going to stop him from getting started with any type of move he's looking for. This won't kill. He has ground tackle available. He doesn't have needle spin to follow up. Unfortunately... It's down to the wire. Dreadboard doesn't hit. And doesn't want to bleed out here. Tries to find his way in. Jumping out after missing. And looking for something. Clears the doppelgangers. Oh, gets knocked down and the bleed is happening. Both players can still die. No. And like that jumpy tall. Getting away. With that, clean, with that trade. Not so clean, but a good trade nonetheless. My bad. That was not Jumpy Doll's brother. Uh, I mean, uh, that was not <laughs> that was not Zan's brother. But could have fooled me. Um. So with that being said, let's update our bracket. Um. If you guys want to see the bracket, sorry, I apologize in advance. Um. I didn't set everything up. But if you want to see the bracket, let me let me let me get that for you guys real quick. Hold on, hold on. So you don't have to ask for it because. I know you probably want to see the bracket. It's a little, like I said, it's a little small today. It's a little small today, but we're still, we're still riding high, you know. Yo, bracketo. Um, so jumpy dog gonna be advancing forward after that situation, uh, and we're gonna be jumping into our losers matches now, where uh, we will have. A quick ad break, guys. So it don't uh, go far. Uh, we are going to just show off some stuff. Be right back.
Okay, and like that, guys, we are uh, back. You yeah. know, hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, um, this is a little bit of a shorter of a tournament, but nonetheless, the points still do matter. Uh, we do have some players who are going to be traveling abroad um, to Korea to you know finalize doing that over there, uh, which I will be commentating. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen, I will be commentating for Neopole, also running the stream as well uh, for the finals. So do look forward to that. Uh, don't uh, don't want to miss that. Uh, that's why we're also back on Twitch, technically. Ha -ha. Um, but guys, uh, we're going to be getting Thirst Killer. Mm. You hear that? Sweet sounds. Yeah, we're going to have Thirst Killer versus pyrokinesis not zam's brother of course he's missing and i gotta find him why do i always have to find this guy and yes guys i am back on twitch so you know <laughs> uh you'll probably see me playing other games too so don't like kind of like get scared i'm still doing dfo stuff um i do want people to know if you are interested we will be doing when it comes out, Jujutsu Kaisen's Curse Spirit will be doing 1v1 tournaments and 2v2 tournaments, depending on what the game status feels like. Um, so don't feel scared to jump in the, the arena. We will do mm, prize pools. We'll do everything. We will do fun uh, tier tournaments, different kinds of things. Uh, you know, character lock only tournaments. Um, we'll do all kinds of things. We just got to figure out what the community wants as we go. Maybe I'll even play in it. I think I want to play in those. That would be fun. Maybe we'll do team tournaments too. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. So we're just waiting for Thirst Killer. But while we wait, guys, uh, real quick, don't forget about the nice rotation of uh, tournament schedule. Keep in mind, there's so much I want to tell you guys. I can't. But if you're not, make sure you join the Discord. I think I still have that. Join the Discord. Uh, if you join the Discord... Uh, you can get to know some of the players. Um, not only that, you can also, my favorite part, you can also see the schedule and see the updated, um, uh, all of the information from who's in what point standing, as well as future tournaments and future events. It does help us and it does make it easy for you guys to be able to do everything. So definitely worth it if you want to come through and do that. So if we can't get this started, oh, we might do our next match instead. Uh, let's see. So I pinged him. Unfortunately, uh, Pyro, if you want to step aside, I will. I will run the other match, which will be Zam versus Nova, and I'll get back to you. So. All right. Um, one I didn't expect to see um, so soon. Then again, small bracket, it's going to happen, you know? Uh, but it's like, it's round one losers. So both players have played each other before, both heavy hitters. Anything can happen. If they need a load, please. Do you need a load? Don't give me the Canadian load, which is like, like in between the match. You're like, oh yeah, we're gonna load now. All right. So with that being said, uh, we're gonna jump right into it. It's nightfall. All right, losers quarters, and just like that. Wow, Zam wasting no time getting in there. Gonna do a lot of damage. Um, and we've seen this before. Both players can super blow your back out. I'm not going to lie. You know, it, it's, it could go either way. Depends on who gets which touch first. Um, I, I would say Vanguard's a little bit more in favor on the damage side because he has a lot of his basic XX strings that can reach off the axes. Uh, but the warp grabbing is really strong from, from most Berserker players. So... Definitely going to see who has the stronger hand in damage. And right now, it's going to be up to Nova to get take an opportunity here. Using Thirst and Derange, going to um, 
Probably try to take advantage of that Gork of Gorkross. No, no, no bloody twister follow up, but gets a combo anyway. Probably gonna use Raging Furry here into a Blood Sword. No, Outrage, Rage Break into Blood Sword. Yep, Bloodlust. Gonna get a slight scrape here. Not, not enough, but not gonna have anything available. Gonna have to rely on Raging Furry and Bloody Twister to probably get something started. Unfortunately, goes to the air. Has to use his quick rebound. And Zam looking for any opportunity, even though everything's on cooldown. Nope. And that right there is going to be really scary. Goes for the quick rebound and great job uh, holding longer than normal. And Dreadbore going to clutch right here. As long as he doesn't drop it, can bring it home for the first game. Like that Zam just... Zam could have lost, could have had that round stolen. That game could have been stolen very easily. But... Very, very much kudos to him to noticing, hey, I need to play a little off. I need to not be too aggressive and return it around. And he did such a great job to do that. But it's going to be on Nova here to utilize a lot of the spacing and room now that he's not on Tavern. Mount Thunder Rhyme brings different altercations. Oh, wow. Both players kind of taking the trade, but not going to not gonna get anything started here. But that bleed is effective right now on himself. And right there, no full combo. Gets the Bloodlust pickup. Probably going to save the Blood Sword. Uh, probably, oh, wow. He just raw Blood Swords. And it's not a bad trade, but trying to get the Warp Grab. Nova doing such a great job with using the spacing of the map. Running up that Z-Axis. Trying to stay away from the XX combos. Staying away from Bladestorm or any, or even Devastate. Uh, Infernal Charge is going to be no longer available. Already tried to use it. Dreadbore keeping him in the corner. Tried to actually do something there with the launcher. But doesn't matter. It is going to be Zam's turn to put out damage. Gets the repick up. Going to have to force the quick rebound out. Both players using quick rebound. Now it's it's anyone's match with whoever gets touched. It's going to be a lot of damage. Nice block. Going to counter with the Blood Sword. Raging Fury. And like that, Zam could see the end of his life here. Probably going to go into... No. has to Doesn't have accessibility to the Bloody Raging Fury. It's kind of follow up to get the extra damage. Uh, and like that, Pinwheel, Spinwheel, and Nova matching it up, making it 1-1, one, one, keeping it out of the kneel. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, your match is next. So... Nova taking that last one. Definitely a little bit smaller range here, uh, smaller map here, but gonna still have some room to move. Gonna have to be careful of getting grabbed or Infernal Charged, and he's probably gonna save Infernal Charge uh, unless he uses it to scrape. Nope, gonna save it, yep, for the for the counter on, on the Oki, and unfortunately not gonna do much there, uh, but gets Warp Grab. Nice pickups, and it's looking super clean right now. Uh, from both sides. Oh, the Blood Sword popping him. And just Nova getting so many opportunities here. And I wonder if Zam's just putting himself and rushing a little too much. And going to keep the combo simple. Doesn't want to use that Outrage Break. And going to just hold. Nice Warp Grab into the Bloodlust. <laughs> just scraping the ground. Going to get the Raging Furry pickup. No quick rebound available. And that could be the end for Zam here. No, no end, but he bleeds out, unfortunately. Zam kind of noticing the end was near nigh and just kind of decided to let it go and said, you know what, I can focus on the next game. Um, let's let's look where he wants to go. It's either going to be Odessa or it's going to be Bamboo, and I think Odessa would probably be the bigger move here. Yep, and there we go. It's going to be Odessa. Uh, yeah, Odessa just seems like the best move for him as Vanguard. Definitely not much room for Nova to run away from. And he has to kind of battle him. He has to accept Dreadboard's going to be available. Uh, Bleedstorm's going to be harder to dodge as well as Devastate. Oh, Inferno. Charge already getting so much mileage for Zam on this map. It's going to be hard for Nova to see it off screen. And gets a full combo into the Dreadboard. But going to get launched out of it. And... Blood Sword 
popping there to maximize the damage into a double bloodlust and still oh man the damage that zam is putting out off of these straight hits you gotta be wary of it infernal charge and it seems like it's it's zam's game just definitely to win here but it doesn't mean that nova is down and out quick rebound oh tries to get the devastate not gonna be enough and goes into third gets to the range looking for a place to not get hit unfortunately doesn't have quick rebounds gonna oh no he he allows him to get up and one hit all it takes one hit from zam Oh, he gets, he gets the warp grab, and he could die. He could die. No, he wasn't sure if he wanted to do Outrage Bridge. Outrage Break, but going to get the Blood Sword probably here. Nope. Oh, the warp grab from behind. Tries to get the Bloodlust, and unfortunately not going to be enough. Going to get scooped right there. Nofa looking to make the comeback. Oh. That's why you couldn't do it. Oh, okay. You would have just died from it. That makes sense. Well, like that, couldn't do enough damage. Because of your life. How does it feel? How does it feel, Berserker players, when you can't do a move because of your life? Okay, and uh, right now, uh, both players just playing a lot of solid neutral. Looking for something. Try to get a warp grab. Oh, nice launcher to just get out of that bad situation. A uh, little delayed for that. Nice pickup. And going to be some solid damage. Has accessibility to Blood Sword as well. Going to twist her into Blood Sword. No, he didn't even Blood Sword earlier. So he saved it for this situation. I guess if Inferno Charge was available. Raging Fury. Okay, keeps it with the XX combos to follow up. Gets the Bloodlust for the final. Gonna buff up, get out of there. And, oh, Outrage Break. Oh, he tries to, tries to pick him up off the grabs and gets the Blood Sword. And unfortunate like that, Zam is gonna go down. Yeah, he has enough this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that, that whole life bar, yeah, he has enough. He has enough now. <laughs> he didn't before. You know, that, that was the scary part before. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, though. Kudos for that, guys. Uh, you know, look, we're, we're all we're all knowledgeable here. We're just all going to keep learning. We're going to keep throwing out information to get better. Um, but like that, I mean, we're going to be switching over to our next game, which uh, is going to be Pyrokinesis. Wow, I put the wrong name. Uh, Pyrokinesis versus Thirst Killer. Let's go over there and update the bracket. Nova moving forward into loser semis. Keep in mind, Citron will get a player card. I still have to make a few player cards, so don't forget about that. Uh, the last player cards that we got was Ben, ben Otten's player card and also Minasang's player card. Uh, but it looks like yours truly will be getting a card now, Citron. Uh, so seeing if players need a load, it seems like they may not. Okay, so we're just going to jump right into it. Load needed. Nightfall, baby! Let's get into it. And like that, both players looking so strong, ever so slightly. Whoa, whoa. Is the game audio not there, guys? I apologize. That's really weird. I think we lost game audio. All right, let me let me fix game audio while we're watching a match, guys. Sorry about that.
All right, game audio's back. Sorry about that. And while we... Pyrokinesis is trying to get something started here. Unfortunately, gets caught by Holy Circuit. And like that, Thirst Killer just takes the first game because he plays F Crusader. And F Crusader is not broken. She's just very strong. Let me get my pamphlet as I tell you how, how, how easy it is to play this character. It's not, it's not easy, guys. I just want you to know it's not easy. You just press a few keys and she does things. But no, uh, right now Pyrokinesis is looking to get something started. Already turning on the after image. Going to start doing some solid damage here. Definitely could hear uh, that, that Zambat all. Oh, following him. Following him, just stalking him. Having accessibility to Tombstone, though. And th this could be... This could be detrimental. This could be the fall of the F Crusader. If Pyrokinesis can not be blinded by his... <laughs> feels like he's being blinded by his own plague. Uh, and going to grab him out of that situation. Uh, Light of Divinity is available. Gonna stop him from just doing whatever he wants. And Saya is up. Could still freeze. Gets the freeze. Saves him. And oh, Bloodlust not gonna be enough. Gets out of the Holy Circlet. And gets a solid eh, baby combo. And is gonna drop it. And give Thirst Killer an opportunity to play the game. Oh, after image is up. Tries to launch him. Trying to get something started, thinking that maybe Light of Divinity might be coming up a little too soon, or that he might try to use uh, Valiant Aria, but does not matter because right now, Thirst Killer is getting a full combo into Grand Crashing, and then Valiant Aria comes up, and that is more than likely death. Oh, the miss! He gets out of it! This could be so clutch. No, quick rebound. Not gonna matter. Oh, waits for it. And gonna just heal himself with the light. Holy Circlet available. Gets out of the Holy Circlet before he gets started. Uh, Shining Cross is going to be coming up really soon. Staying in that safe section. And, oh, opting to use After Image some way, somehow. And you hate when this is so easily available. Tombstone tries to get the grab. Gets the follow-up. And Saya freezes. He's hanging on the edge of his life. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You're not getting out of that. Valiant Arya. No, thank you. And like that, shutting it down. <laughs> shutting it down. Gotta give it to Pyrokinesis. Playing so, so smart. On the edge of his life. Anything could kill. But we're going to tower. And unfortunately, it's 2-0. And with that being said, it's going to be a big hike. <laughs> It's going to be a big hike for Pyro to get all the way up and make something happen. But looking very, very fresh and, and fashionable. Can he make it work? Can he make it work? Going to put out Saya. And Saya looking to cover some of the ground. Good bloodlust just to stop it. But unfortunately, probably should have opted to use Tombstone. Um, or even use Guard. Just to kind of bait out something that Thirst Killer might do here. Unfortunately, going to finally use Tombstone. Gets kind of weirdly grabbed, and we're going to chalk it up to that's just how the game goes. Full combo, and F Crusader. Oh, very nice Valiant Arya. Going to try to backstep so they can fall on the ground. Very smart. And just take the damage on the ground. It doesn't matter. Doesn't get a full standing combo, uh, or it can walk up. And Grand Crashing. Whoa. Like that. It is so hard to get out of your own way, uh, but not for Thirst Killer. Kind of just 3 0 there. Um, definitely a good showing for Pyrokinesis. Would love to see him come back and play in the next uh, tournament. Unfortunately, your run's done, but hey, you got points today. And keep in mind, it's double points, and it's only top six, so you're getting points, which is going to move you up. So, um,. Keep in mind, the winner of today will get 40 points.
40 points. Um, let's see what is on the menu for who is playing next. So we are going to. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's Nova versus Thirst Killer. A little bit sooner than expected, but we've seen it happen. Anything is possible. And I would imagine both these players do not need a load. As they have been playing all night, they've probably been loaded and ready to go. And like that, the players getting into Nightfall! Season 1, Nightfall 8. We're here. And already Nova wasting no time getting in there with the warp grab. Gonna try to maximize damage here. Uh, F Crusader is a tanky, tanky young lady uh, fighting for the great, great honor of his, of their lord and savior. But you know, trying to cleanse this sin called Berserker out here. But Nova not shying away. Unfortunately, gonna get. Gonna lose that exchange in neutral and find himself getting fully comboed. Not gonna be much really here to use. Holy circlet, probably into the spear and not gonna hit the spear cleanly, but for the restand. But it's enough for Thirst Killer to get another setup of strings and gonna have to force out the quick rebound. Oh no, he delayed a little too much on that grab, uh, thinking that he might try to get a little bit more out of a uh, thirst killer there but it doesn't matter gets a full combo and gonna have to utilize uh probably maximum damage for the out outrage break very nice setup but like i said she's a very tanky lady and she can eat it all and now that light of divinity is up it's gonna be so much harder for nobody to actually get any of his game plan started gonna have to hold this full damage combo purifying purifying lightning is up grand crashing is up holy circle it's up everything is up anything is gonna possibly most likely kill like that. And that should take us to a Mount Thunder Rhyme where dreams are made in the snow. Yeah, I don't know why she can blind players. It's just interesting. It's weird. I don't think she should have that accessibility. <laughs> she can already do so much. But nonetheless, Thirst Killer getting started with another simple combo. Doesn't have anything up, so he's going to opt to probably save as much as he can so that the next combo is going to be big. Or uh, he baits out a quick rebound, which he did. And now we're going to probably see him uh, all in. Probably set up for Holy Circle if he doesn't drop it. No. Tries to do the Oki setup. And Shining Cross trying to catch Nova pushing too hard. And Nova going to try to move down to get the Bloodlust grab here. Nice Thirst in between. Very smart to activate and now going to get a full combo to the Outrage Brig. And so smart. Takes the damage he can. Goes in, gets the Bloodlust again, gonna launch off of this. Gonna probably, do, we're probably gonna see a Bloody Twister, a Raging Fury into a Bloody Twister, Blood Sword. Oh, Blood Sword straight in. Uh, no quick rebound, looking to opt for the quick rebound. Fortunately, good chase down by Thirst Killer to with the Light of Divinity. Light of Divinity just makes it so hard, but Bloodlust and gonna force the quick rebound. Gets the actual grab, gonna get the scrape. Should be able to get the kill here. Raging Fury at some point. Yep. And that should be it. And Nova finding ever so slightly after the quick rebound. A opportunity to Oki set up and punish super hard. And like that, we are going to be going to Tower 1-1.
Both players familiar with each other's play style. I don't think that we're going to see Thirst Killer switch unless it's in a super, super detrimental state. But I think he needs the damage. He needs the, the tankiness. Um, this is not an easy character to just fight against. One mistake, and Nova definitely makes you punish, uh, pay for it. And right now, Thirst Killer getting his normal opening, uh, opting to save some damage, going to throw him down. Not going to have accessibility to that grab anymore, which is going to be really big. Gets picked up. Not going to opt to quick rebound here. think it's a very bad option. Uh, and we're going to see Nova try to uh, maximize with that Blood Sword. So much damage. No quick rebound on Thirst Killer's side, which is really, really big. Oh, Holy Circulator. He's just standing almost in the corner of it. And I think in this situation, there is no reason to quick rebound. But we're going to see if uh, Thirst Killer can try to get a quick rebound out of him. Not unfortunately. And... Wow, that blood sword, using uh, almost putting him in a detrimental state here, and shining cross almost catching him, and Nova just moving ever so slightly to get closer. Oh, tries to get the warp grab, not gonna be enough, and Thirst Killer denying it. And if he could just land here, quick rebound is available. Oh, he actually baited him for the quick rebound, and he might have just there is the use for it. Runs up, blood bloodlust, gonna get a full combo. Probably not going to be have enough to do anything crazy. Nice with the blood sword, keeping it simple. Oh, nice, nice movement, but unfortunately not going to be enough for Nova. Nova's going to get caught here, and like that, we're going to see Thirst Killer take him down. And like that, that is one bad mother priestesses. I said mother, you know. So and now it's gonna be up to <laughs> it's gonna be up to Nova to pick. It seems like he wants to go to Bamboo. He guesses. Uh, I don't know if there's any map outside of Bamboo that can essentially make this any better for for Berserker. But I think it's still one of the better uh, better options. Considering that straight path is going to be hard to fight Light of Divinity. It's going to make it a little bit ha harder to deal with uh, any of the range moves that Thirst Killer is going to throw out there with F Crusader. You can't tell if Nova is just being a little too aggressive in these situations. He's going to have to pop his quick rebound a little early. Not much on the board for Thirst Killer, but Thirst Killer was honestly uh, stalling for a skill. So it's quick rebound. And not going to get the grab there, unfortunately. And Thirst Killer getting full combos, going to have accessibility to Holy Circlet. Shining Cross is going to be available just in case for a uh, Oki situation. No need for it. Going to use it on his own wake up. Nice lightning into Grand Crashing. Going to get a full follow up. Not going to not gonna be able to opt to the, just not enough damage to close it out. Going to use Valiant Ar Aria, but unfortunately uh, cutting it short. Just didn't want to get grabbed. Didn't want to get put in a bad situation. Blood Sword was used. Not going to have enough. Tries to outrage break and gets caught by the Holy Circulate. And unfortunately, the hell. She has cleansed the evil and removed Nova from this bracket. But Nova will be walking away with points and trying to secure more of that position in top eight. So with that being said, that is going to move Thirst Killer into losers finals. Uh, and we're going to have our, our winners finals, which is going to be, you're going to be having Citron versus Jumpy Doll. This is actually a matchup. I think we have not seen uh, get played with the with this matchup because jumpy doll has been away for a while um and now coming back i'm kind of curious uh again in winners somehow <laughs> um i'm curious how he plays this considering uh i don't think he's played citron's um lightbringer so that's gonna be kind of an interesting take uh, for how things could go. 
Okay, so both players are good. No low needed. We're just jumping right into it. Winners, finals. Here we go. It's nightfall time, baby. Let's get it. Strap into your seats. Three out of five. Winners, finals. Citron versus Jumpy Doll. Oh, baby. You got to love watching Lightbringer. Very nice XX combos. Going to go all the way. Going to... Probably going to save some damage here because he's going to have Confession available. Blocks it. Confession not going to be enough because of, because of the Tatsu. Because of the backdash and now getting the Tatsu not going to be enough. And Citron looking for another opportunity. Going to just run in with the x dash combo. And full damage going out here. Has Estrangement available. And the blind so hard for Jumpy Doll. But Jumpy Doll doesn't care. Going to run in there. Gets the next snap into the needle. Going to get a full combo. Going to hit them with the Venomine net setup. Brick does not matter. Can't stop me. I shielded that. And I'm going in. And this is exactly why this matchup is going to be rather hard for Jumpy Doll. Because this character, Lightbringer, has so many options to just not respect anything called stun. No bricks in her face. I like that Citron just trying to secure the pathway to Grand Finals early. That 1-0. Definitely looking to change things. We're going to be going to Mount Thunder Rhyme. But Jumpy Doll looking really composed here, taking his time on a bigger map. Going to have a little bit more room to kind of throw what he wants out. But Citron has more room to run. And Confession is available. Gets the full combo. And oh, nice nice buff up there with Faithful. And we're going to start seeing uh, more damage come out. Probably going to save Forgiveness for the Oki setup. Oh, no. Doesn't use it. Actually tries to see what Jumpy Doll was going to do and gets full. <laughs> oh, no. Jumpy Doll missing the Venomine there. But gets the net, gonna probably th rock throw. Uh, doesn't matter because Divine Shield is always available. It's such a short cooldown. And Citron just cycling through skills, waiting for something, but gets bricked. It is pretty brick out there. So, with that being said, Jumpy Doll just full control of this match. Getting a lot of the situations. Nice trade. Gonna look for a follow-up. Does confession, lets it rock. Unfortunately, Jumpy Doll uses. Quick rebound and holds it longer than normal. Oh, nice Divine Shield. Tries to counter with it with an attack. And nice Constellation. Going to be a good amount of damage, but getting punished for Constellation into Shield Break. Shield Break letting Citron really play the game now where he's going to be able to do a full combo. Not going to be able to kill, but going to be able to get a setup here to possibly set up a kill. No, no, he's going to be able to kill. This character... G O oh my G, no way you tricked me when I tell you April Fools isn't here, but I feel like a fool. Citron's really showing off how damaging this character can be, can turn the tides. Jumpy Doll fighting from such a deficit. Haven't seen him adapt the way he was slowly adapting, but haven't seen him adapt fully. Getting kind of clutched out with these little small situations where it matters. And wow, gets picked up, but. It, very nice by Citron. Citron actually probably going to be looking to just keep the, the combo simple. Her skills are on cooldown. Some of the skills are on cooldown already. But looking to probably set up for Confession. Doppelgangers come out. Jumpy Doll using as many throwables uh, just to force Divine Shield. And catching needle needles here and there. Misses the net throw, but it's going to be really big. No Confession. Estrangement. Into the follow-up. And now this is what you like to see. Going to probably opt to save Forgiveness. Forgiveness is going to probably scale the combo. Going to want to use that to counter. Oh, the blind. And gets the shield break. No need for Forgiveness. And Constellation is on the board. If Citron gets up and hits that, dead. That is a dead jumpy doll. No, going to break through the Divine Shield. Uses Estrangement. Tries to look for 
any opportunity. Unfortunately, Constellation was stuffed at some point. And Jumping Doll playing this so well, trying to retain any life that he has. Nice follow up, bit a bit a little much there, uh, and it seems like Citron kind of took a little too much. Thought could get more out of it. Not gonna be able to stun him there. The Ryan Shield was up, but it's down. And Jumpy Doll adapting and noticing when to save one more brick throw to just optimize there and capitalize on the situation and gonna run away with that game. This is the scary part. It is going to be in favor for Citron to pick a map between Bamboo and, and, and Trash Cans. I think at this point in time, Bamboo ain't that bad of a look. But Trash Cans allows for so much room to be played. We're going to Bamboo. Oh, already so much movement coming out. Jumpy Doll trying to be a little aggressive. Gets the Tatsu, gets the Brick. I'm gonna get a full combo. The Doppelgangers have set up such a good scenario for him. You'll wanna see a game five. And I think Jumpy Doll wants to see it too. He's putting in so much work, throwing out so many items. Fortunately, Confession not gonna hit for Citron there. Citron looking for a way in. Just taking his time, Shield Break. Estrangement, clearing up the doppelgangers and also doing a little bit of damage to Dumpy Doll, but not going to be enough to get a full combo. Gets in there, lets the net ride, and rides the net and full combo for Citron. Keeping it simple, actually saving all the abilities until the very end to maximize. Oh no, Tatsu just too strong. Going to get the stun in the middle of all, and Jumpy Doll looking so clean this round. Gonna put him on top of the doppelgangers. Clears the doppelganger, says, I do not want to be here. Tries to shield break in, unfortunately. Hasn't used forgiveness not once. And we're probably gonna see him use confession in this situation. Oh, nice shield break. Tries to confession, gets the shield break in. Oh no, drops it a little bit. Gonna try to repick back up. Gets next snap and jumping doll just so quick with it. Ready for the response after the quick rebound. Like that, Citron getting completely skipped, scooped for the 2-2 and turning it around reverse 3-0 possibilities. And we're going to end it on trash cans. I, I really think that Jumpy Doll, the setups, the adaptation, forcing Citron the in, in, game, in game three to use Divine Shield in a certain way where he would be able to brick later uh, really affects a lot of how things go. Definitely going to have to see how Citron actually adjusted. This was so commanding in the beginning. Runs right in. Unfortunately, gets stunned off the Z-axis really, really far. It's going to give Jumpy Doll an opportunity here to full combo. Okay, it's going to be down for Citron and a quick rebound or to not get hit by the setup. Unfortunately, not choosing to use Divine Shield. Uses Confession, tries to shield break in. Unfortunately, not going to get anything from it. Going to get stunned. And it looks like Jumpy Doll just commanding this whole round for set point. But Citron not giving up, getting a full combo. It's still turning out with Consolation being available. Yep, going to do the damage maximizing. And Shield Break to push him back to the, to the center so that he can't just run away for free. Citron running right by. Right by the brick, the, the boulder throw. Gets hit by the needle. It's going to be really, really close. Forgiveness is... Oh, Confession doesn't get anything. Tries to use Estrangement the wrong way, unfortunately. Gets the Shield Break. And that could close out the round. Confession is going to be available. Forgiveness available. Going to get the, the relaunch afterwards. And like that, Citron clutching it out over Jumpy Doll. 3-2. Such a good, such a good, good game. Uh, I could, all I can say is both players taking it down to the wire. 
uh, unfortunate for Jumpy Doll, gonna have to go to losers. Gonna have to stay here <laughs> and, and and fight another another demon like himself in the bracket, aka Thirst Killer. Oh, and bringing out V Swordmaster. Um, but before we start, guys, we are. No, we are going into losers finals. Uh, we're gonna run a quick ad. I know we don't like them, but we gotta do them, okay? Uh, I'll say this: we're gonna run a quick ad. Um, on top of that, if you guys haven't, we have a nice little beautiful uh sub button down there. If you would like to use that, you have Amazon Prime, so go ahead, click that while we're chilling and doing some ads, and we will be right back. Go grab your water, go to the bathroom and uh let these players get ready and we'll get started after these quick ads All right, and like that, we're back. See, we only ran one ad. We're good, guys. How fast was that? You, you can't you can't even beat that, right? And we are already going to be starting our losers finals, so both players should be ready, uh, and we should be able to just jump right into it. I don't think they need a load. All right. Uh, once uh, once we ready up, then we're good to go. This is your Nightfall Losers Finals. Let's get excited. Thirst Killer versus Jumpy Doll. Just gonna see who can run it back uh, against Citron, who is sitting nice and kindly in the points, the big points. And right now, <laughs> Thirst Killer wasting no time using his Swordmaster. We know what it's about. We know what he's trying to do here. Um, opted to no longer play Female Crusader in this situation. Going to try to push the envelope, but Jumpy Doll not respecting it, saying, you know, I, I'm playing... I'm playing Brawler. Male Brawler. And both players just trading blows. Going to be really good favor for Thirst Killer here. Not going to get anything... And gonna get hit by that needle spin. And needle spin getting the mileage into the net. Oh, the illusion swords is gonna get called out. And not gonna net him for anything. And right now, Jumpy Doll looking for anything. Gets the grab into the Venom Mine. Watch his life tick away. And I think at this point, Jumpy Doll just gonna take it easy. Uh, probably set up next snap. Very nice. Waited for the quick rebound to finish. And this should be the game. First game. No, Jumpy Doll almost drops it. Oh, God. Playing with the heart. Playing with the food. I know it's in your hand, but don't drop that. Jumpy Doll already looking pretty pretty convincing in that first game. Uh, Thirst Killer probably going to have to turn it up here 
we know he does often, but it's this. This almost is a really big. Uh, he's already in the points. It's really, really good for him. But he he wants to try to deny some of these people from getting any more points. At this point, he's playing for placement and positioning. And nice combo. Gonna save, probably uh, wait to use Flash with uh, Arcane Sword together. Uh, Swift Demon's not gonna be up in time. So we might see him do Flash and then Arcane uh, Sword. We've seen him do that before. We've seen him do Swift Demon, then Arcane Sword. So he uses Illusion of Sword there in neutral. Gonna use uh, the Triple Slash to get in. Miss! Oh my god! Of all times. Tries to use Arcane Sword. Gets it. And going to get a full full combo follow-up. Probably going to see him use Flash in this combo. No! Going to command gra gonna grab. Gets the freeze into Crescent. Full pickup. And definitely has many options to finish here. They'll probably sent sentiment to defer. Defer? No, tries to use Flash. Oh, Arcane Sword comes out. Tries to do Crescent. He's just throwing it all out there. Needle Spin hits. And Jumpy Doll not giving up. Gets the next snap into a full combo. Probably going to see what his setup is. Definitely going to use the Doppelgangers to actually hold him down with the net. Probably going to Brick here. Oh, Boulder. Yeah, not a full combo, but going to opt to do damage um, just from throwables. This is looking so smart by Jumpy Doll. Still turning around. Oh, but Crescent hits, and that's a full combo, and you just have to hold that. Crescent is basically the the draw sword for sword masters that moves. It's very scary, and uh, it's a really big hitbox. So, with that being said, uh, Thirst Killer taking that round, going to tie it up 1-1, one, one, and we're going to be going to tower. Already with the doppelgangers trying to clear it with the illusional sword, and quite honestly, I feel like Thirst Killer has played played his hand fairly well in the start. Uh, but Jumpy Doll always gets the best of him right there in the next snap, and knowing that he would guard, next snap breaks the guard, turns him around, and punishes him. Oh wow, very interesting exchange there with the crescent, and I, I mean, just wow. Arcane Sword is available. Not going to have the chance to do a uh, flip side counter. Um, uh, and just going to get fully comboed here. Nice net. Going to set up for Boulder. Going to get full combo. Next snap. So he can't respond. But, wow, the good response there by Jumpy Doll with the grab. Jumpy Doll just really on it this time. Going to get the stun. Going to get the... <laughs> this guy saving next snap. And right now, in Thirst K Killer's favor, to kind of run some Oki with the Illusion of Sword. Missing some of his moves here. It'd be big time. No flash available. Arcane Sword is if he gets a quick rebound. He might wake up into it. Swift Demon coming up as well. Probably not. Oh, no opportunity because of the, the bleed. Jumpy Doll. Really clutching it out there. Um, the thing is, so Thirst Killer could go go to Female Crusader. It isn't gonna be easy. Uh, just because Jumpy Doll is familiar, but also has won the exchanges in the past uh, against Female Crusader. But I wonder what he's gonna pull out. He has an, a list of things. That uh, yep, there's a the Berserker. So, the Berserker was an option. We've, we've seen him play it before. It's not uncommon. It just comes down to how well Thirst Killer can adjust and make the make the combos matter. Already activates Thirst, and my man is deranged. He's ready to go in, but he is getting stunned. Neck snapped, and going to have to use Quick Rebound. Good Bloodlust to stop the grab. 
grab for grab. Using Raging Fury, trying to catch the warp grab here. Uh, keeping Jumpy Doll down here. Blood Sword, just for the armor. And if he got damage, that was a plus. Uh, gonna get a nice launcher, Raging Fury. Gonna Bloody Twister, just to hold. Not long enough, but just enough to get some more damage. An optimization there. Gonna get the Fairy and back up to Raging Fury. And Blood Sword, Outrage Break, just uh, the hold. Uh, so he can get the range of thirst back up and he is just flying that is what we call a fast boy a speed demon at that and jumpy doll finally getting a combo here stopping the movement and using needle spin gonna add some more apply some more and some blood doesn't get the net throw because the rebound and that can be detrimental for jumpy doll here Gonna get hit by the Blood Sword after the Bloody Twister. And waiting to see what he does. A nice pickup by, by Jumpy Doll. Jumpy Doll just so good with with adjustments in the combos. Gonna get net. Gonna go into to the boulder. Gets a stun. Nice pickup. Uh gonna have to do Whoa, tries a double boulder stun, but misses and gonna lose due to the miss. So unfortunate. So unfortunate. And I don't think that was... It definitely wasn't Jumpy Doll's fault. You know, sometimes you just miss. You miss the mark. And the target was on his back. But we're going to the streets. And it's going to be hell for Thirst Killer if he thinks he's going to get around these trash cans and all the people getting beaten up. And right off the bat... Jumpy Doll wasting no time being aggressive. Throwing boulders. Actually trying to get some... Trying to get a stun here. Oh, nice pickup by by Thir Thirst Killer. Thirst Killer literally landed before him and said, If I get up, I'm doing something. Gets stunned. Not close enough to get the next snap. So going to opt out, but gets back in there with the... Sh oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no net because a quick rebound. Great, great read by Thirst Killer knowing that he needed to do that. Gets stunned, though, to the next snap. And like I said, this is not going to be a, a walk in the park. Double stun. Going to opt to Needle, Poison. And right now, Jumpy Doll controls this whole game. Nice pick up there. Needles. Going to add the, apply, the application of Bleed. And poison, and there's there's nothing he can do here. He's bleeding out. He's just bleeding out, trying to stay alive ever so slightly. Tries to grab off of the doppelgangers with the warp grab. And Thirst Killer having one opportunity using Outrage Break, not gonna matter. Use triple triple slash to get out of that situation. But Venomine hits, and that's gonna close it out. Jumpy Doll, clutch, bang bang, got him from afar, putting him down. And like that, Jumpy Doll making his way to Grand Finals again. But we fighting the person who put him in Loser Citron. And all I can say is, are you guys ready for some Grand Finals action? Let's go. This is... Your grand finals, Jumpy Doll versus Citron. Let's get started. Uh, they they didn't want me to do the losers in. Okay. <laughs> Jumpy Doll having to run it back has to win six games, three per set if he wants to turn this around. Citron only needing to win one, and we've seen the adjustments. Can Jumpy Doll set it up for himself? Oh, Citron. Take the whole thing. Oh, very nice. Trying to keep him at bay. Jumpy Doll not committing to anything. Estrangement comes out. Gets a full combo. And this is Citron's game to control. Gonna get a full combo. Tries. It gets the blind, but it's not gonna be enough because Jumpy Doll's like, man, I'm the status effect king. You better cut that out. 
Very nice. Gets the pickup. Great adjustment. And right there, Jumpy Doll already looking super solid. Uh, maximizing damage. Estrangement going to hit. Doesn't get the follow-up. Going to Confession. Confession going to allow for the follow-up. Consolation no longer available. But Forgiveness is. Tries to shield break. Gets the shield break. Not going to be able to get the follow-up. Divine Shield still available for Citron. And this is going down to the wire already for the first game. Tries to shield break his way in. Going to probably Confession his way in. Forgiveness is just never going to get used. It's there, but it might put him in a detrimental state. Or he might get stunned. And very good movement by Citron here. And Jumpy Doll looking for any opportunity to just maybe... Oh, Estrangement, unfortunately. And that could be game. As Citron poses and throws up the W sign... Lightbringer taking the first game. Definitely going to be a little bit harsher on Jumpy Doll here. Gonna ha This is kind of what happened before. We saw Citron take the first game, then take the second. Definitely going to be better if Jumpy Doll takes this, this second game so that can control the pace going into tower into the last few set of maps. Oh, and like that, Citron getting a full combo. Going to probably go for the blind here. Gets the blind. A little bit of a miss, so the blind doesn't stick. But a straight forgiveness, finally, and gets the follow-up. Hasn't shown it this whole set until now, even in winner's finals. And going to get another full combo. Probably going to set up for estrangement here. Gets the blind. No, no blind. And right now, Citron just hold, holding the candle, saying, when do you want me to blow it out? And right there, gets stunned, but tries to use Consolation. Consolation does hit and gets a full combo off of Consolation. So hard to stop that move from going through. It's just like how Extruder works. Massive damage. The only difference is it's going to hit all around her. It's going to be very hard to punish her. And if you armor through it, you're still taking the damage. And we're going to tower. Like I said, we've seen this before. Jumpy Doll did play really, really well around the tower. And I uh, would like to see how he adjusts to the situation again. Okay. And Citron playing way different than before. Not uh, opting to Divine Chill as much. Opting to just use movement. Oh, big, big. Citron looking super clean right now. Commanding the whole round. Could be the end of the set. Gonna gets the blind, and that's really, really scary for Jumpy Doll. Can't see where she's coming from, but not gonna allow her because of doppelgangers to follow up with the stab. And somehow Citron getting another combo and could end it here. Will probably end it here to take the tournament. And oh no, drops it, but confession gonna close it out. And like that. Your winner of Nightfall 8 is going to be Citron. Citron may not be running away with money, but guess what? Citron is now in top 8 for the championships. And that's very scary. Like I said, these points can change drastically for you. Um, 40 points going out to Citron. And all I can say is thank you guys for uh, playing today. I know it was not very long. It was very short, but hey, you got points. I mean... I'm going to give you the rundown before the end of everything. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I just want to show you guys again uh, what the schedule is going to look like. Uh, the schedule is going to be... Uh, the schedule is going to be... November uh, November 25th is going to be Nightfall number 9. Another double point tournament. So that will be on the way back after... That will be after extreme the extreme tournament finals in the international play. Those guys will be coming back. So they may be coming back stronger. They may not enter. Who knows? But if you got points, you might want to secure your spot. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, tuning in. I know we were a little late today. I had to catch up on sleep. 
But nonetheless, I wanted to tell you guys what the next steps are going to be um, for uh, everything. First, your first place winner, Citron. Your second place is Jumpy Doll. Third place is Thirst Killer. Guys, thank you for coming out. I know we switched platforms. I know it's a little weird, but um, we're going to stay with Twitch. Remember, we have the sub button. We have all these things. We're going to let that control and help uh, really build where we're going. But um, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight, because I don't really get to always talk about these things uh, afterwards. But one, the medals have been ordered. These medals are freaking awesome. If you're not in the Discord, uh, be ready, because next week I will be posting. Uh, jump into Discord. Next week I will be posting the official medals. Uh, and then November 19th, the trophy is being made for first place. So if you, well, I will show these things off to you guys. You're going to be excited. Uh, I also have a special surprise uh, for you guys for season championship. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Let's just say we might have a new intro for the season championships. So if you guys like the intro that we have currently, you'll still get that. That'll still be our bi-weekly, but Season one championships is going to have some pretty cool, exciting things happening uh, for it. Not only that, we I, I would love to um, get uh, we're going to be getting commentators, uh, some that you're familiar with. Uh, and if you've done, seen the 2v2s, so we're going to be having uh, Angsty Dragoon. We're going to be having uh, Captain Tang and obviously myself. So all three of us will be cycling through, giving you guys the goods. Like I said, I appreciate you guys for following. I appreciate you guys for supporting. You guys have been nothing but amazing, even though we had a small tournament tonight. It doesn't matter. We're going to keep picking it up. Uh, again, kudos to the players. If you guys haven't seen, I will update the the spreadsheet for points and for placements. Uh, I will also upload the bracket so that you the tournament. I will upload set, Nightfall 7 and 8 together. Uh, so you guys do not have to worry about that, but I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I know we've had a quick night. I know it's been like two hours, but thank you guys for watching. And now you are free to follow through with whatever you want to do for the night, guys. Have a good night.